If a cup of coffee is left to cool, how many minutes does it take for the coffee to cool 15 degrees? All right, it's always important that you have a system to read graphs and that you always follow the system. So the system that I use is four step uh, system. So look at the title first. Um, here it's telling you that this graph represents temperature of hot liquid as it cools. Then the second thing you wanna do is look at the x-axis, which is the horizontal line. Um, in this case, the uh, x-axis is looking at minutes. Okay, so you can see there that point is 80 minutes, 70 minutes, 60 minutes, and so forth. Then the third thing that you want to do is you want to look at the y-axis. Okay, so the y-axis is the vertical line, the vertical axis. And here you can see it's temperature in degrees centigrade. And it starts at 0 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and so forth. And then finally, you want to look at the legend. So the legend is telling you what those little uh, green boxes represent. And you can see there that it, they represent temperature. Okay, so do this every single time that you have to read a graph so that you don't waste time and you, um, you know, execute immediately. All right, so the question is asking you, how many minutes does it take for the coffee to cool 15 degrees? Okay, 15 degrees. So if we look at the first point on the graph, that's 65 degrees. And if you look at the second point, that's 50 degrees. Okay, so 65 minus 50, that is showing you a 15 degree drop. And the question is asking you, uh, how many minutes does it take uh, for this to happen? So remember, we said that our x-axis or our horizontal axis represented minutes. So if we look at the first point, that's 10 minutes, and the second point is 20 minutes. Okay, so how much time is between that uh, interval? It's 10 minutes, exactly.